Hi, my name's Cathy Miller and this week we're modelling a dirty snowy path. Now this is my snow and ice diorama and this is the first snow that's going on it. So I'm really excited to be getting it on there. And I've got a couple of options I could be using for product to do the snow. And there's two choices that I particularly like, one of which is AK Interactive Snow Diorama. It gives a nice fluffy snow texture. And this is the UK. We don't really get huge ice that stays for months. It's, it's not that kind of country. The other thing is a UK brand Deluxe Materials and they do Create and Shape, which is a sort of a filler really. But if you add a bit of water, um, just a splash, it comes out exactly like the AK Interactive um, Snow. I'm going to use this one straight out the pot because I've used the other one in other videos that I've done for MRVP, Model Railroad Video Plus, and I did a snow and ice diorama for them. That was in HO and was uh, railway, railroad. This is um, O scale, so it's a little bit bigger. So the first thing I need to do, though, is make my path. Now, actually, I'm quite happy, more or less, with the just painting the sort of sculptor mould but it is just a little bit bumpy. So what I need to do is put down a path texture. And for that, it's just a stony, dirty, muddy path. Now I spent ages adding this path and filming it all to show you, but in reality, it never shows through. So all you need is a flat texture and not to worry at all about the muddy path. And once you're done not worrying about that, it's time to move on to adding the snow. I'm going to put it on with a wooden coffee stirrer to start with. Um, you can give it a bit of a stir as well, just to make sure it's all mixed in. It's quite thin. And then it's just a case of putting it on. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time texturing this, um, so I can use this a little bit to build up. It's obviously an expensive way of doing that. Um, so I should have probably filled this a little bit more. This step is fairly easy to apply and I want a nice smooth texture because I want to have, there's, there's grass underneath, but at this time of year it's, it's quite short, it's not that bumpy. I think they actually do mow it occasionally. So it's not going to create a huge amount of bumpy texture or anything we need to replicate in the snow. Well, I've got this on here, but it's quite sticky. It's very hard to manipulate. I could let it dry for a bit and see how that goes. But actually, it's easier if you just put a layer of micro balloons over it. So I'm just going to sprinkle on some of these micro balloons. And these are deluxe materials. They're actually a resin filler. AK Interactive also do micro balloons. But if I put these on here, you can see they just come onto the top and they stick to it. They're very fine. Um, I, some did advise me to be wearing respiratory protection. They also give it a sort of a, a different snowy texture, um, which is a little bit more perhaps what you'd expect. So just turn it upside down. If it's on a layout, you obviously can't do this. Hoover, that's what you need, your own dedicated Hoover. So I've got three brushes, um, a sort of smaller one, a larger one, and then actually the, the best one is actually just put something like this on and it will just tamp everything down a bit and smooth it and give it a different texture. You get rid of those and if you start doing that a few more micro balloons will sort it out um, and I'm not trying to make it look like anything other than just smoothed with maybe a little bit of grass or something underneath now to do the path I'm going to use a brush to apply the um, snow and I'm going to put it in just so that it, it is a lot thinner see I don't need it to be so thick I just need it to cover this path a little now I need to smooth all this out and make sure everything is nice and evenly covered and starts to look quite good and obviously the easiest way to do that is to add another coat of micro balloons a little play of scuffing here um, and you need quite a lot of micro balloons or your, um, your poor man will stick okay I have a man he's an o-scale man and I have a very mucky looking path so the first thing I'm gonna do is smooth it out by putting on my micro balloons um, and you can see where the edges are. It looks slightly different to the last that I put on. So this just acts as a beautifully fine coat to make sure I can touch everything. And then I can just whap it in place because it is a dirt path. Okay, so here we go. A nice smooth texture so everything shows up on the next stage. 
So I can do a man and this man walks and he walks and he walks and as he does, he, he pushes it down. I need to do a bike. So the bike is going to screech through, going to screech through all of this and come down. And you just need to remove any of that snow now so it looks realistic. Um, and this is where a path that's got a lot of traffic on it can be quite good because I can add a few more micro balloons now and just smooth any of that back out. We'll tap them off in a sec. The bike would actually have had two wheels, so let's put the other wheel in. You can choose the order you put things in. If your people are sticking, which they do, I'd put their feet. I've got some micro balloons down here which have come off the edge. Make sure they're feet are put in micro balloons but first of all I'm just going to lift out any of these big splodges and smooth them out again. And the last thing to do is just get some micro balloons on your finger a little bit and just tap down any bits that look a bit sticky out and if it, that's not working because they're quite fine just a little bit of extra micro balloons on here and just tap out any bits that look too high. Them a bit lower. The next thing to do is to make some of these footsteps look like they're older. Some of them have got a nice amount of micro um, balloons over them. They look quite fresh, like they've gone down fresh. I want some of them, especially this bike path and then maybe a few of the other bits, to look like they've been there a while. And that's easy enough to do by just putting a little bit of the paint colour that we used, the um, not that one, a little bit of the paint colour we used, the flat earth and some still water. And I know it doesn't show much at the moment. This will help it snow just to show just a little bit more. I'm getting snow on my brain, aren't I? So a little shot glass. Um, it doesn't need a lot. So just a couple of um, brushes. If that's a technical term. Eight. I've done eight just to dilute it. Maybe be ninth that snuck in there to dilute it a little. There we go. And if it's too thick, which this looks, then a little bit of water will help it flow. Some of these deeper ones. So you do not want a lot on or it will spread like that one. You just want to put it at the bottom. Some of these deeper ones. There we go. And then to make those look really much better, I'm just going to add a few drops of the, um, well, drop, very small amount of still water and just a little drop of that in the bottom of these to make them look a bit icier. Not that much. And as a little bonus, don't just think about paths. Think what other marks people might make in the snow. So I'm going to make myself a little snow angel. I'm going to use my man for size and it'll be a lot smaller than that. So just using a brush, I'm going to make myself, um, remember if it gets a bit whatever, just a few more micro balloons. So here we go. And there's a little swooshing movement from side to side when they do snow angels. If you don't know what I mean by a snow angel, don't worry, ask a little kid and they'll tell you. And I did think actually afterwards, you can make little dog prints as well. A lot of people are walking dogs too late now, but I could easily just do um, using the edge of a brush, um, just little marks that look like something has run across here. There we go, little snow angel, just the sort of thing kids do on the side. I came home one day and there was one in my front lawn. Great fun. So. Use your imagination. Think of the little marks and signs of life that you'll find in the snow and try and copy those. Obviously, you can see as it sets up, it looks a little bit more solid. This is what it's like when it's fresh. It dries to a little bit more of a solid look.
So I hope you enjoyed looking at how we can make this section of snow along the diorama with my little snow angels, my dog footprints and my normal footprints and bike marks. Really exciting. There's loads more to fill out in this diorama, so subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos or go check me out on my website or any of my social media. Look forward to seeing you next time and if you really enjoy these, feel free to support me on Patreon. Thanks a lot. Bye.